So we got the new part in, and you can see this is the old one, and you can see the cracks right down there by the nut, and this is the new one, all shiny, no cracks. Gonna have to try and wiggle this thing in position. I don't remember exactly how I got it out. There's these tabs, there's two tabs on the back that have to go into two slots that are in the metal. These two tabs back here slide into two slots in the back, so I gotta make sure I get them lined up. And I'll know I have them lined up when these front ones match up with the holes. So I should be able to Good enough. I'm gonna spin that kind of on as I go. So it looks like that. So that looks like the holes lined up. You can see. I still have my vice grips holding the motor in the back, so I can tighten the fan on. Spun this on. It's reverse thread that way to tighten that round part slid right into this exhaust i kind of forgot to line that up so that was fortunate it looks like it's in the right spot so if you remember on the old one there's this lock that slips down in I'm just going to reach up in there and slip it down in. Give it a little tweak. I'm just going to leave it at that. I don't want to crack the new one. Now I got all these screws. I got to remember which ones went where. I know that these longer ones that looked like a wood screw went in the front of this. Actually, hopefully he bought me some new screwdrivers. I don't know why I'm not using them. But for this one, junk. I slipped that little rubber piece right there over the seam. Now this little center doohickey has to go Got some new screwdrivers from the Hava Freights. They should sponsor me. And that was these funky looking ones with the shiny tops on them. I just put that screw there. And then this is going to set in there like that to hold the lamp trap. And then you got the two screws on the inside. So these funky shiny ones right here. So you can see those screws, they go right in here and on the other side same place and that allows that foamy part to line up in here against the fan and that's the spot 
it brings the air, draws it from back there, through here, through your lint trap, and that blower is just pulling air. Ooh, another penny. I'm guessing they go in the square holes and then the outer screw will go through these upper ones. There's one on each side, you just gotta get a screw in there as well. And then here and here. These ones are gonna be those special shiny kind again. All right, so I slid that down into the slot and then put in those two screws. The door is back on. If you look right here and here, those correspond with holes up here on the front so you just got to get that keyed in there like that on both sides you just got to crank screws into here to hold that top on something like that oh there's also in there that tab yeah, there's a tab that's got a slot in like that. Once you have these screwed in, holding that in place, you gotta plug in your connectors. <clears throat> Excuse me. It's keyed. <clears throat> So that screw and that screw to put the top on. So we're going to put that through there and that like that. And just slide the belt over the top of this one, the tensioner, and then the spring goes through that hole like that. 
And that puts tension on the pulley. What I need next is a skinny little fella to weasel their way in and plug that thing in for me. I need you to be careful of these hoses mm -hmm. and this hose. Mm -hmm. And I need you to weasel in there and plug this big cord into that big outlet. Okay. Well, listen, when you come back out, all this right here is going to be live. So come out underneath where you won't touch it. I'm risking my life. No, you won't be anywhere close to it if you come out that same way. Mm. Yeah. My shoulders are too muscular. Yeah, oh, I don't think that's a problem. Huh? Yeah. <laughs> Hi, puppy. I plugged in my hose just for a test run. All right, that sounds pretty good. I'm gonna have them unplug again because I have to take those wires off to put the back. Just be careful after your test run of this area here. It's gonna be hot. <laughs> yeah, she's toasted. Just gonna take these wires off here, here, here. Red, white, and black. And then this green one that's kind of tucked in behind that's hard to see. I got some major dust bunnies under here too. That I'm gonna try and blast out with some air. I got some contact cleaner. I'd feel a little better if it wasn't lint right up against these electrical wires. The metal, the metal on the back of these is super sharp. Put this Sherman thing back on. Slips in like that. Just get it snugged up so that wire can't jiggle out. And then you're just gonna line up your colors again. Try that. It went back together much quicker than it came apart. Um, it was like $120 for the part, shipped online, parts doctor. And uh, yeah, so now the dryer works again. Um, So if you like this video, be sure to subscribe and click the bell for notifications.